I put a shift in. And I think, you know, life changes you and experiences change you. Having a daughter's changed me. Um, having different directions in my life has changed me. And I think that Palace, as a, as, a, as a football club, has moved on quite substantially. It might not have moved on logistically. It's been to the Premiership and down again, as it's done before. People's perception of Palace is different now. People don't think it's a flighty, flash South London club. Yes, they, they, they've got a perception of me. But they know also that when you deal with Palace, you've got to deal with them properly. If you muck about at Palace, there's a, you know, there's, a, there's, a, there's a consequence to it because we're very strong in what we do in terms of either on the pitch with Warnock and his attitude towards how we play or off the pitch with my attitude towards how we play commercially. Um, but I feel that eight and a half years with a lot of BS in there that I've had, and a lot of it's been brought upon by myself. I understand that, you know, I've invited the, 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 the attention sometimes by the comments that I've made, but the battles that I've had have been the right ones for the right reasons. But eight and a half years later, I think, well, I'm, you know, I'm 40 odd years of age. I'm, I've done this. I don't really want to do it anymore. Um, I don't really enjoy football anymore. I don't really enjoy the, 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 the genre that footballers represent. I don't think that, uh, Footballers are as important as the world makes them out. Um, and I think Palace, as a football club, deserves someone that had the same determination that I had when I came in now, right. rather than someone that says, OK, I have an obligation and I'm never going to sway away from my obligation, but I don't really want to do it. Right, yeah, that's the time to go. So that's it, yeah, time to go. So, but, 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 but by the converse, I'm at my strongest this season because I want to go out on top. Yeah. I want to go out leaving people wanting more. Yeah. I want to go out the door with the team in the Premiership, not because I can get more money for it, because ultimately there'll be two facets to any deal that I do. A, what the, what the person's prepared to pay for the club, and B, what the club's going to get from that person. And they have to meet in the middle. They really do. It can't just be Simon Jordan gets a big slug of cash and Crystal Palace gets sweet FA. It has to be that there's an equitable divide, and that has to be... Palace's progress there on afterwards because my legacy you know will be as important to me as my tenure of course. you know I won't go back to Palace I'll never go back to another game I won't sit in the stands with the fans because I don't think that's right I won't go back and sit in the boardroom because I don't think that's right for the new owners because my presence at Palace has been so omnipotent over the years you know when you think of Palace you think of me mm -hmm. whether that's right or wrong and a new owners don't need an old guy an old owner sitting there with people going would you do that would you do that don't think they deserve that. I think they, if they put their money and they deserve the right to run it how they think they should and hopefully in the best fashion. And secondly, once I've, I remember when I sold Pocket Fund Shop and I had 2,000 staff and complete control over it and everyone responded to me as the managing director and the owner. The day I sold the business, I picked the phone up, I got put on hold for 15 minutes by a receptionist. <laughs> and when I got through to the department I wanted to, the, the director of the department told me he'd come back to me when he had some free time. I put the phone down and I realised I'd sold the business. Walking back into Palace after I've sold it would be very difficult for someone like me because yeah. it's a, the king is dead. Long, yeah, yeah. Li long live the king. Yeah, it'd be quite sad as well. Yeah, that's life. I'll watch them from afar. I'll always wish them the best.